Hello guys, welcome back again to Engineer Tina Academy. And on this video, we want to estimate the cost of roofing materials. So we had done an estimate of the iron sheet, but we did not do an estimate of the other elements, that is the timber that is used in roof construction. So welcome back again and let's start. As you can see, we have our plan. These are pitched roof. We have different types of roofs. But on this video, we are going to use a pitched roof. And if you can see, we have the dimension. We have the, the eaves is 500. And then we have the 6,000 span. And then we also have the 500 on the other side, this side. And then on the width, we have 500, that 300, and 500. And then we have a section. We've been given a section here, section AA. That is what we have down here. Our width is the 300 or the span, and then that is the that is the pitch proof. Now we have details that are going to guide us on how we are going to go about the estimate. This is the data. We have the tie beam is size 100 by 75 millimeters. The rafters, these are the rafters. They are 75 by 50, spaced at 1200 center to center. The struts, they are of size 75 by 50. The king post, this one here, that one is 100 by 75. For rings, we have for a number that is 50 by 50. G, GCI sheets is at 500 shillings per meter square. Cost of timber is 25,000 per meter cubic. Then we have ordinary nail, wall plate, ridge cap, and the waste. So I'm basically, on this video, I'm basically going to concentrate on the tie beam, the rafter, the struts, the king post, and the, the palings, and the wall plate. Because we had done the, the iron sheets, we had calculated how to get the number of iron sheets. So I'll, I'll incorporate that video here so that we can be able to, to get the total cost of this land. Now let's proceed. Let's proceed now. Our first item is the wall plate. We are going to start with the wall plate. So wall plate runs from wall up to there, up to wall. So that is this side and this side on the length. So that is 6,000 by 2 because from here up to here we've been told is 6,000. So we multiply that by 2 and we get 12,000. 12, now let's find the volume. The volume of the wall will be, the size of the wall plate is 100 by 75. The size of that timber is 100 by 75. So the volume will be the length, that is 12 meters, times 100 millimeters, that is 0 0.1, times the width, which is 75, that is 0 0.75. That gives us 0 0.09 meter cubic. So we need 0 0.09 meter cubic for the, for the wall plate. So after we've done the wall plate, we proceed to the rafters. The rafters, they are size 75 by 50 millimeters at 1200 center to center. So these are our rafters here. This one, this one is the rafter, that timber, and then on the other side. So when we're calculating the rafter, we take, when we're calculating the length of the rafter, we take half span. So our span is at 300, we divide by two, that is 1655. So half span is from here up to, up to there. And then we add the eave. This is the eave, which was, 500 this one here we add that 500 so that gives us a total of 21 2150 so from here up to here is 21 2150 so we need to get this length so we need to use the pythagoras so this is 2150 we were not given the pitch the angle so we are going to assume that and then now we find x which is our rafter so x will be 2150 if you use the soccer tower 2150 divided by cost 30, giving us 2,483 millimeters. Now, that is the length of one of one rafter. So we need to find the trusses. Remember, the trusses is what carries the, the all element of the, of the roof. So that is where we have the rafters. So it's either the number of the rafters or the number of the trusses. But still, it's the, it's the trusses that carries the rafters. So it will be the length divided by spacing plus one. So we are going to assume wall thickness to be 200 millimeters. So let's find the number. Now that we have assumed the wall to be the wall thickness to be 200, it's because our 
our trusses are going to run from here up to here. So we need the internal internal length. So our length is 6,000. We are subtracting the walls. So that is 2, 200. That gives us 5,600. Now, for us to get the number, it's the length, which is 5,600, divided by spacing, which was 1,200, and then we add 1. That gives us 5.6, and then we say 6. So we have 6 on this side and 6 on the, on the other side because it's a pitched roof. So we are going to multiply 6 by 2, so we are going to have a total rafter of 12. Now we need to find volume, so we are taking, we are taking the length of the rafter, which was 2.4, 84 and then we multiply by the size the size was 75 by 50 so that is 0 0.075 by 0 0.05 that gives us 0 0.009315 and then we multiply by the number we've said they are safe in number so that gives us 0 0.11178 volume of of the rafter now once we are done with the rafter we proceed to the next item that is the tie beam the tie beam is size 100 by 75 and here, the length of the tie beam, the tie beam is this one now. The length of the tie beam is this one. That is the length of the tie beam up to here, sorry, up to this point. So that is the 300. And remember, there are six. Yes, because our, our rafters, our, our trusses were six. So we had six of them, but it's they were 12 because it's on this side and on that side. But the trusses are six. So the trusses are six, so the rafters, the tie beams are also six. So we, on, we need to find the volume. So we take the length, 3.3, .3, multiply by the size, that is 0 0.1 by 0 0.75, and then by the number, that gives us 0 0.1485 meter cubic. We proceed to the struts. The struts are size 75 by 50 millimeters. So these are our these are the struts here. We have one there and we also have another one there. So if you look at this truss, it's this way, forming 90 degrees there. So that way, the way I've made a sketch here. So we need to turn it side that ahead, side that the, the strut that you are looking is this one. Since this is our tie beam. This is the rafter. This is the, the strut that we need. So we are going to turn it this way. So that this becomes 30 degrees. This becomes 1650. 1650 is a half what we had. Half the, half the span. That is half 33. And then now this becomes the X. So if we use the Sokato, it's going to be sine 30. That's opposite of our hypotenuse. So our X will be sine 30 multiplied by the multiplied by the 1650 that gives us 82 825 so we multiply by 2 we multiply by 2 because it's this side and this side for one for one truss so we multiply by 2 that gives us what that gives us 1650 so the number is 6 so we are multiplying that by 6 so let's find the volume of that the volume of that strut it will be so the length is 1650 that is 1.65 times the size was 0 0.075 and then multiplied by 0 0.05 that gives us uh, 0 0.0061 and then we multiply that by by six because there are six we have six trusses so that gives us 0 0.03712 so that's how we go about the the struts now we proceed to the king post the king post is size 100 by 50 the timber is 100 by 50 so this is our king post here that one so it's we are going to use we are going to use this one so this is 30 degrees and then this span here is from here up to here is 1650 so it's 1650, 30 degrees, and then we are going to find x. So we are going to use tan 30 is x over 1650. So x is tan 50, 1650 times tan 30, that gives us 925. Remember, there are six in number. So it's 0 0.925 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.05, and then that is the volume of 1, and then we multiply by 6. That gives us 0 0.0275 meter, meter cubic. We proceed to the 
palines, they are 50 by 50 millimeter size and they are four in number. So the palines are equal to the length of the building, that is 6,000. So volume will be 6,000 times the 0 0.05 times 0 0.05 times 4, that gives us 0 0.6. 0 .06. Find the total volume of the timber that is for the wall plates, the rafter, the struts, the king post, and the palines, giving us 0 0.322665 meter cubic. So the cost of one of one timber, before we got the cost, we had 3% waste. So we are going to add to this volume, we are going to add 3% waste. So that is it. If you tabulate that one, it's giving us 0 0.3365. Now the cost of timber will be 0 0.3365 multiplied by the cost of one meter cubic. That was 25,000. So if you multiply that, it's going to get 8,411.37. So we can say 8,411. So that is how we calculate the cost of the timber. So we are going to, I'm going to upload the video of the iron sheet so that it's going to be easier to to add the two and find the and find the total cost of the roofing materials thank you guys for your time until next time bye bye